This weekend saw the first part of the Etchells British National and Open Championship run by the Royal Corinthian Yacht Club. The second part of the championship will be staged next weekend. A fairly small entry of just 17 Etchells came to the line for the first race on Saturday morning with the committee boat end marginally favoured. The 12 knot westerly and a flood tide gave a nice flat sea. The breeze wasn't very stable though, either in direction or pressure, and at the first beat it was to be the left of middle which paid best. Pre-event favourer Ante Razmilovic, sailing Swedish blue, soon had his nose out in front of the pack. As the fleet worked their way up a two mile championship length beat, Razmilovic protected the left and slowly edged away from most of his competitors to round the windward mark in the lead. Close behind though was David Franks's Elvis with Hex in third. The wind had gone right a bit and all the fleet jibed to port for the run to the leeward gate. Swedish Blue maintained their gap from Elvis and rounded comfortably in first, followed by Elvis and Hex. Normally you'd expect to see Lawrence Mead's freelance at the front of this fleet, but in this race he was back in seventh at this stage. Up the final beat, Razmilovic and Franks went right, and for a while it looked as if Franks, to windward of Swedish Blue, might lift up and away in a bit more pressure. But it didn't happen, and Razmilovic led around the windward mark with a fairly safe lead, with one run to go to the finish. Franks wasn't being troubled by take two in third, but he couldn't make any impression on Razmilovic's lead, and they crossed the finish line in that order, with Swedish Blue taking its first win of the series. In the second race, Take Two did a horizon job, winning by nearly three minutes from Lawrence Mead's freelance. Matatu Du took third, while Razmilovic finished fifth, but then claimed and won redress, and was also given third place by the jury. This left Take Two and Swedish Blue tied on four points at the end of the day, with Elvis holding third ahead of Freelance in fourth. Sunday brought more wind for the next two races. Take Two got the best start at the favoured committee boat end of the line and immediately tacked to claim the right hand side of the beat. The fleet split with about a third of them heading right and the majority going left. At the windward mark though, the leaders came from both sides of the course, as most of the fleet arrived at the mark in a close bunch. The Swedish blue was to leeward of white pointer, but unable to lay the mark in the foul tide. Razmilovic had to jibe away and would eventually round in seventh. This fate happened to more than one boat, as they misjudged the tide and the ley line. Behind White Pointer came Take Two and Lawrence Mead's Freelance. Down the run and Take Two went further left than White Pointer, while behind them Razmilovic's downwind speed saw him pulling back for lost places. Mind you, someone might want to review Rule 42.3c and check out Swedish Blue's frequency of pumping. At the leeward gate, Lawrence Mead's freelance had moved into the lead and rounded the left-hand mark ahead of Take 2, while a bit further back, Swedish Blue took the right-hand mark and headed off to the left-hand side of the beat. Most of the fleet went left on the second beat, but two boats went hard right, one of them being Take 2. The crew that had led after the first two races and was lying second in this one, probably rused the decision to let the rest of the fleet go left while they banged the right-hand corner. By the time the fleet converged again at the mark, the leader was Swedish Blue, from Freelance and China White. Boat after boat streamed round the buoy, and by the time Take Two arrived, 
they were back in 13th place. At the finish it was Swedish Blue with a comfortable win from Freelance in second with China White in third. The fleet was much closer in this race and White Pointer and Hex couldn't be separated at the finish, scoring a dead heat. The start of the second race of the day saw a heavily biased line in favour of the pin. Lawrence Mead made a brave tack onto port when he couldn't lay the line on starboard but was way too early and had to return. Further up the line, Razmilovic had a poor start but flipped to port and wriggled free to find a clear lane and power away. Swedish Blue is well sailed and clearly has a speed edge upwind and down. Despite a relatively poor start, she was soon in the groove and sailing just that bit faster and smarter than the rest of the fleet. At the windward mark it was Swedish Blue leading again from Hex and China White. Matatu Du hit the mark and was rolled by Bedrock, while Chris Torrens in Best Mate also got too familiar with the boy. As the breeze increased it made no difference to Swedish Blue which just powered downwind, chased by Hex and Freelance, while all the fleet enjoyed the downwind leg in the brisker breeze. Swedish Blue went on to notch up another win, with Hex taking second and Freelance third, while Saturday's challengers Take Two and Elvis posted mid-fleet results to slip off the podium. With four more races to be sailed next weekend, Swedish Blue sits at the top of the leaderboard, eight points clear of Freelance with another eight and a half points back to Hex in third. It's hard to see who's going to dislodge Swedish Blue from the title, but this is yacht racing, so anything can happen, and we'll find out the answer next week.